A couple of days ago, I presented a session on digital creativity in Office 365, um, specifically SharePoint Online, and I had such an overwhelming response. And of course, I had so much fun that I decided to, uh, to do some more of these creativity um, type of posts or blog posts to inspire you. Today, we'll take a look at uh, the Euro web part and the cool stuff you can do with it. Promoted links were always my favorite uh, web parts, and of course, that's uh, not possible anymore in SharePoint Online. So the first thing I want you to understand about the Euro web part is the sizes of the images. Best place to go to is the SharePoint lookbook because it tells you a lot of information about your web parts and it's the easiest way to find out more. I'm going to just scroll down and choose one of the templates that looks like it's got a Euro web part in. I can see that that's a Euro web part that's just in a single image. And as soon as it opens, you'll see on the left hand side, it explains um, the Euro web part and it gives you a link to go and read more about it. You can also just navigate straight to this uh, page, of course. I'm going to scroll down right to the bottom and um, there's a piece that talks about scaling in the Euro web part. Now, in this blog post, it tells us that um, the web part scales to, some, to an aspect ratio of 4.4 um, 4 by 3. Now, I've actually done some tests and it's a little bit different to that to get optimum, but that is the closest um, you can just get to it, is a 4 by 3 aspect ratio. So what I then did, so I went and worked out um, the optimum size to design images that I want to use in my Euro web part. So of course, this is in PowerPoint. Now, the first thing I want you to just take note of is that different resolutions will display images differently because it crops and it changes and it scales differently. At the moment, 1920 by um, 180 and 1366, 768, still the top ones apart from the higher resolutions. My PC is much higher than that. My PC is actually on 2256 by 1504. So in this image, I then went and worked out the scale. So the easiest way to do that is to do a new PowerPoint um, presentation, change under design the slide size to be four by three, which is the aspect ratio that Microsoft gives us. But go and customize your slide. So leave it on 25.4, but change this to 17.2. So I work on 25 by 4 um, by 17.2 centimeters, which is the exact size of the image um, before scaling. So if you look at this, then the test that I did, you'll see that there's a blue line around this. On 2256.1504, it shows exactly the full image. On 1920 by 180, cropped a little bit off the side. 1366 by 768 crops off about a full column and then 1280 by 1024 and 1024 by 768 loses quite a bit on the side of the image but this gives you an idea of which part of the image goes to waste when you do use it so careful to use images that's got important parts on the side because due to resolution it might scale differently so this will definitely help you to design that a bit better as well you don't have to get all technical about this I've done all of that for you. So use that slide size 4 by 3, but then just change it slightly to be 25.4 by 17.2, and you'll have the exact size that your Euro web part uses. These web parts as well, all five of these blocks, if you use five blocks, of course, are all exactly the same aspect ratio. So I then just worked out what this aspect ratio is, and uh, I use that to design my images. I then had some fun. And I took some solid images and I've put this grid that I've drawn over it to see that if I can cut it out, how it is different on different resolutions. And believe me, it does change quite a bit, especially when you get to these resolutions, um, which become very low. On 2256 and 1920, it's very, very similar. So it actually works quite well. But I definitely wouldn't use that on your site, to be honest, because of resolution. Except if you can tell me that everyone in the company has exactly the same resolution. Then you could do fun stuff like this. But also remember that if you split your screen or on mobile view, it'll completely change because the web part then wraps or scrolls. So this was just a fun exercise, to be honest. I wouldn't normally do this. But what I then went and did, and uh, you'll see this on my SharePoint site, this is where I did the full image, which was a lot of fun to do, but definitely not uh, best practice. I then went and took that same image and I said, you know what, why don't I pick colors from this and design my own blocks? And this, of course, I did in PowerPoint. <laughs> and uh, all I did was I just picked colors from the image and I even inserted icons in PowerPoint 
to create them quite nicely. If you place the icon towards the top and towards the right, it doesn't lose a lot on lower resolutions and it won't chop the icon off if that makes sense. So if it's too close to the side, you're going to have trouble because on much lower resolutions, you'll lose a part of the icon. I then just snip these images by using green shot or snipping tool. And then uh, another example would be also a solid image I used and some of the blocks I changed with other colors. So you can see that on my SharePoint site. So there we go. There's an example of four colors that I picked from this image and I designed my own images to use. Um, there's an example of still using three parts of the background, two colors are used. And then of course, I definitely want to inspire you to just do more. Don't be afraid to do creative things. Be careful when it's your landing page of your intranet though, <laughs> but uh, maybe this is your departmental landing page or your home page for your team. So do some cool stuff and you'll see, there's uh, my top header, which uh, is the full width of the page. But if you add Euro web parts on lower sections of pages, it's normally a little bit smaller, but the aspect ratio will still work fine. So there we go, different images with colors that I picked from them and I added some cool icons. I really think that looks pretty cool. Don't be afraid of trying textures. I mean, here I chose some different textures that I downloaded and I thought that looked pretty cool. Here's an example of using some earth tones <laughs> for fun. And of course, um, some black and white images, which I think worked out quite well. And here's also a great example. Why don't you take photos with uh, people in your team holding up a white sign? And then you can add the text of who they are and what department they're responsible for, which you can also add in your web parts on the pages. I think that's a pretty cool thing. And then of course, in a previous blog of mine, I showed you how to create GIFs, which means it's scrolling images. So I just took those five images above and I created a GIF for it and I added other images. You can find that uh, blog that I did on my website, uh, tracyfonderscave.com, and uh, it's called The Closer Look at the Superhero Web Part. And in there, I gave you lots of crazy cool ideas of uh, doing nice things in your Euro web parts. So that's using different colors, different themes that are the same, crazy dark themes, adding just people on your pages. And this is the one with a, um, with a GIF that I used. So also cool ideas to add GIFs, of course, in your pages. What about, uh, again, theming it, getting colorful, using um, just flowers or, I don't know, just animals or something. Here's another cool idea. How about dinosaurs and sweets? I think what I'm trying to say is that um, you shouldn't be restricted by the technology around you. There's so much you can do. And all of these things that I've done, I've done with uh, Microsoft and Office 365. I do a lot of my designs, of course, in a PowerPoint, and it's just so much fun to do. So, uh, so don't be afraid to do some cool things that you can see um, is the grid that I use to plan and um, those images that I wanted to use um, on my site and to make sure that they're the correct size. But uh, don't hold back and do some creative things and maybe inspire your team or your department as well to maybe once a month have a competition for someone else to, um, I don't know, recommend a new design or something cool. It doesn't always have to be corporate and it doesn't always have to reflect exactly what your department do. So finance doesn't have to have money in each block. So definitely go out there, do some cool things. And um, I really hope that this will inspire you to do more. And remember, PowerPoint's by far one of your best design tools ever. So use, uh, use the tools that you do have and do some really, really cool things. And I promise you, you'll have a lot of fun and you'll never look back. So I hope that you enjoy that and uh, we'll chat soon.